everybody Ann here. I've already had my coffee. Got to get going early today because it's going to be a hot one. And I've got some stuff I want to get done. And the first thing, the first thing is to try and get at least one of those passion fruit vines up on my property. <sighs> Gosh, I hope I don't kill it. I was able to get the passion fruit plant, but oh, man, it looks terrible. It is so stressed right now. And I got this all done before noon. And um, so it hadn't really gotten really hot yet. But, I don't know, here, let me turn this camera around and let you see what you think. There it is. And right now, this area is shady. It was totally sunny earlier, so I'm actually kind of happy that it's just a little bit shady right now to give this plant some time to recover. But, it was basically just one plant with basically three vines coming off of it for right now. I've just put it around here just kind of draped it around it it has fruits on it it I can't believe it it has fruits on it so this is kind of squishy I don't know I may go ahead and just take take one off I know Papa Pepper said to let them fall but maybe if I take that biggest one off the rest of the vine might recover a little bit better um, I drenched the soil before I even put the the big taproot down in there and I gave it plenty more water so, I don't know, and basically all it has had was like one big taproot, and I got quite a bit of it. I didn't get all of it, and then it had one little side root going out to the side, and I got as much of that as I can, so I don't know if I got enough roots. There is one other plant left over there, and if this one dies, well, I am definitely going to leave that other one alone until maybe I have, maybe, I don't know, I don't know, maybe it's cooler you know, like I said, in the winter, to do it in the winter, but each one of these vines that's coming off this one plant has fruits on it. So, yep, one, two, three vines. It's got root, uh, fruits over here. So, I don't know, you guys, just say a prayer that I didn't kill it. Um, I wanted to plant it in the ground, but I tried to dig holes in the clay, and the clay is just too solid right now, totally solid. So I got it as deep down as I could. I'm just going to hope and pray that it recovers and I didn't kill it. All right, so let me let me kind of pick pick one big one. See there's actually three big ones on this one. Oh, there's two vines here actually. Yeah, this other one's coming. Oh, this one's just Oh, if this is just a piece of vine, I can get rid of it. Uh, I don't know which one I want to pick. I'm going to pick one of them. Should I pick this one? I have decided on this one. It's the biggest, it's the heaviest. Um, and I'm just going to pinch it off and give it a little rinse and see what's inside. I broke it open and this doesn't look like it was ripe. <laughs> I think you all could have probably predicted that, but you know what, I'm going to try and taste it anyhow and see what it tastes like. I think I want to just try one of the seeds first and see what they taste like. Mmm. They're not too bad. Mmm. They're squishy. Alright, let me try some of the flesh. Hang on. Gosh, they have an interesting smell. It's almost like, I don't know. It almost, almost smells kind of smoky in a way. I think I'm going to dig these fruits once they're really authentically ripe. So, I'm just going to say a prayer that this plant recovers. I sure hope it does. There's one more, at least one more over there. So, I don't know. We'll just see. Say a prayer. <laughs> What you doing, Judy? Where's your stick? Where's your stick? Since you chewed up your frisbee. Where's your stick? I found three mushrooms over here today, you guys. One of them was a fly agaric, and you know those are poisonous. Uh, two others were, well, actually about four others were these kind of milkies, and they're actually edible, but I still didn't want Betty or Judy. Gosh, listen to me. Judy getting into them. All right, girlfriend, we're going to play fetch. Let's see if you can do it 
without chewing the stick up. Go get it. I didn't throw it very far, did I? Whoops, whoops. It's hard to do this and film. Come on, please just give it to me. All right, all right. Are you ready? Are you ready? Go get it. I didn't throw it very far. Here, I'm gonna get over here and do it this way. It seems to work a little bit better if I throw it downhill. All right, girlfriend. Come on, give me the stick. You gonna give me the stick? She's just letting me have it this time. Here we go. I'll be surprised if she brings it here and drops it. Come on, Judy. Come here, girlfriend. See what I mean? Come on, Judy. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. You ready for it? Go get it. She can get just past those trees, so I try not to throw it too terribly far. Come on, Judy, give it to me. Please give me the stick. Thank you. Oh, you got to drop it. See, and I don't want to play tug-of-war with her either. Judy just does her own thing. Yep, this is how fetch always, always ends. <laughs> Man, it is hot outside right now, but it feels pretty good in the shade. Yep, the chickens, the, the big chickens that have gone inside the van. Crazy chickens, they love being inside that van. But look at those flowers back there. Those yellow flowers, I've got them all over my property. And you know what, they're probably a weed, but they're beautiful. I don't even care what they are. I've seen so many bees on them. They look like they're in the sunflower family. I did a plant snap and I don't know, it had a couple different things listed that it could be. But I don't care. I mean, I just le love seeing the little patches of yellow here and there. Oh, and what are those tall ones that are growing with the yellow on them? I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I've got those yellow flowers going in and out here and there. It is just so pretty. Oh, I forgot all about this. This, I collected anthill dirt because it is really nice dirt. It's aerated, and I figured, you know, if I'm gonna move the anthill dirt over to, you know, for the chickens, I don't want a whole bunch of ants in it, at least not all at once. So I got neighboring colonies anthill dirt and just put them all in there. And uh, right now, I'm gonna see if I can show you, yeah, without putting my finger over it. If there's any ants left in here, there were so many and there were ant eggs and it doesn't look like there are any ants left. So I'm going to put this in the chicken run outside and just see if they like this kind of dirt because they don't really like the plain clay dirt. Uh, they like it to be a little bit looser, a little softer. So let's see if they like this. I guess we'll see if they like it or not. I tried to break up some of the bigger clumps, but they have gotten dirty somehow. And they keep tipping over their water. I just refresh their water on the inside, but trying to keep it clean outside, I'm just gonna have to give them a, give them a bigger bowl. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I'll just get a, a bigger bowl and fill it with more waters, maybe even put a few rocks down at the bottom. All I know is it's really hot outside and I'm getting chewed up. Now I know many of you might think that this is just an island of weeds, but I love it. It's all those yellow flowers. They're just everywhere. And there's a tree stump in the middle of that. That's why Mr. Lucas hasn't been mowing right through that. And there's a couple little bunny rabbits that live in there. I think it's pretty. And when all this yellow stuff comes into bloom, I like it. It just looks like a big yellow flower bush. Yeah, they're probably weeds, but I don't care. I think they're pretty weeds. This red cubanelle plant still looks like it's doing good. And it's got more fruits on it. Look at one, two, three. Oops, I ate one of them for breakfast. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and pick this. Uh, I just cut off this yucky part. Can you see it? And eat the rest. They're supposed to be red though, so I hopefully, hopefully these other two that are on here, before they start going bad, they will actually turn red. They're pretty big peppers, I'm surprised. Oh, look at my little baby watermelon split open. Yup, split open. So we'll get rid of that. I'm hoping, oh look at there's a squash bug. They're going after the watermelons now. 
I'm hoping these will ripen up, but you know what? I haven't been watering them, so you can't expect too terribly much. I may, I don't know. I don't know. I got to pick off the rest of these cucumbers. There's a few little left because they are basically dying. Uh, I think the squash bugs have killed them too. And then I got a few tomatoes. You know, after these are harvested, I'm going to take them all down. I'm just going to leave these, leave these, oh, blah, leave these up uh, until the tomatoes ripen and maybe get some seeds from them and same for next year. But then I'm just going to dismantle this whole, dismantle this whole thing. I can't talk. I'm just tired. Jeez. This heat has just sapped the energy out of me. Thank goodness for these fans. So I don't know. I think I may just turn on the big fan and lay down and take a nap. I'm titled. I'm old. <laughs> anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.